What's up guys, welcome to another shootout commentary and by pure hazard, um, my uh, opponents picked up the St. Louis Blues who traded away Kevin Shattenkirk to the Washington Capitals for a first round pick, a second round pick, and Zach Sanford. So obviously I feel like uh, you know the Washington Capitals are giving up a lot here for Shattenkirk, but if we compare it to the trades that have gone down recently, I think they're getting a pretty solid value. If you compare it to the Mark Hansel trade where uh, you know Minnesota paid, uh, paid a similar price, I feel like they're getting the better player here, Kevin Shattenkirk over Mark Hansel any day of the week. Now, I fully understand that the Wild have absolutely zero need for, uh, you know, a defenseman. But, uh, you know, that being said, um, I take Kevin Shankirk any day of the week before Hansel. Now, Washington actually has a fully stacked roster here. I mean, adding Kevin Shankirk, they already had guys like Oshi, Backstrom, Ovechkin, Holtby, um, you know, John Carlson, Carl Osner, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Andre Burakovsky. I mean, this team is absolutely loaded. They need to win a cup this year. I mean, if Washington can't win a cup with this roster, I don't know what it will take for them to win it. Um, you know, if maybe they get keep Shank Kirk next year and they can win it next year, but I really don't know if they can't, you know, win a cup with this, if they'll ever win one, uh, you know, with this core here. So definitely a big year for Washington. Will they stall? Will they actually finally get, you know, Lord Stanley and bring him home? We'll have to wait and see. Now, here's what kind of sucks about this is the two most stacked teams in the East, Pittsburgh and Washington, are in the same division. And that really kind of pisses me off because in today's playoff format, that means either one of the two drops the wild card or we won't get to see them play against each other in the Eastern Conference Finals. So, um, you know, obviously as a Senators fan, I can kind of see some positive here as the Ottawa Senators could slip into the Conference Finals. But, um, you know, as a fan of the game and as a fan of Epic Series, because I want to see Pittsburgh and Washington play against, I think that would be unbelievable. I don't know if you remember when Crosby and Ovi went head-to-head -head in the playoffs. It was absolutely stunning. It's been a while, but, you know, I remember it like it was yesterday, and it was absolutely great to watch just as a hockey fan you didn't even need to be a fan of either of the teams now they can only meet in either the semifinals or in the first round so i mean that's a bit of a bummer and maybe it'll have the nhl revise its current playoff format uh, i don't think it needs to revise how the eight teams get in there but maybe they just need to revise how you know the opponents are determined it should be purely by points east versus west that's it so, uh, you know, that being said, guys, this team is stacked. I can't wait for the playoffs. Um, do I think they're going to move again, make another acquisition? On Washington's side, I'd be surprised unless it's a minor acquisition, a depth guy, you know, throwing in a seventh rounder for a guy that's, you know, going to play in the NHL, uh, sorry, in the AHL. And, uh, you know, we'll see him in the NHL if somebody gets injured. That could definitely happen. Or maybe even a guy like Parento or Vanek that you won't have to pay much to acquire. Uh, for the St. Louis Blues, I do think they're going to move again here. They're in a playoff position right now. They're a pretty darn good team. And, you know, they, they've been, like, looking to win for a very long while. Uh, I don't really know what their intentions are because I feel like their window is kind of closing here. Some players are getting old. And at the same time, they've got a lot of young players. So do they want to rebuild? Do they want to retool? It's a bit unclear for them. But if they are saying, hey, we're sellers then uh, I definitely think that they are going to sell a few other assets. If they're like, hey, we're buyers, then I also definitely think they're going to make another acquisition here. They just didn't want to lose all that value in Kevin Shankirk. So I definitely could see them maybe making a minor deal to, hey, show the team, look, guys, we're still behind you. We still think you can make the playoffs. You know, acquiring, again, a guy like Vanek or Paranto that's going to come there on the cheap. They're not going to have to give up all the assets they gave, they got for Kevin Shankirk. That's something I can see happen. You know, these guys just want to show the team Team, keeping the players commit, keep the uh, keeping the energy on the team uh, full of good vibes and of playoff hopes, and you know keeping the fans interested. That being said, I'm not really sure who won this trade, guys. So make sure to tell me in the comments below who you think won. I personally have no uh, ideal. I think there's one team looking for the cup, one team that's selling, and they both pretty much got a fair value. So uh, you know, make sure to tell me in the comments below, guys, and have an awesome day.